right, good morning to you. Uh, this day, I am having to post this in a different way on YouTube for our devotions. Um, and I'm obviously in my truck. Uh, but my computer died is what happened. So <laughs> I didn't bring a cord to charge it. So we'll go ahead and do uh, devotions, kind of probably on a shortened end maybe. Um, sometimes these don't get short because I'm driving and then I just start talking. But uh, So we'll go ahead and begin. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, beginning with uh, what Luther suggests for us to do. I'm just kind of following that catechism. Uh, we will um, go ahead and begin with the Lord's Prayer. So we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And we confess the creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we uh, continue, our devotion is on the first petition of the Lord's Prayer. So you have the introduction, which is our Father who art in heaven, or our Father who's in heaven. Um, and we spoke about the meaning yesterday. Uh, today, the first petition, the first thing that we are asking uh, is um, hallowed be thy name or holy be your name and which is an interesting thing to ask uh, our meaning is going to remind us that God's name is certainly holy in itself uh, but then uh, we pray in this petition that it may be kept holy among us also and so uh, what we're really asking is when when we pray for holy be thy name or hallowed be thy name we're asking Lord may your name be holy among me so we're asking him to gift us with the knowledge of his name and so second commandment stuff and really how that happens how he gives to us his name to be holy is third commandment stuff which is um, through his word um, desiring his word. So, Lord, holy be your name. May we desire your word so we may know who you are and what you have done for us. And so, there's a lot here in this first petition. Okay. And um, so, hallowed be thy name. Uh, now, how is God's name uh, kept holy? And the, the meaning for this is God's name is kept holy when the word of God is taught in us. And it's um, to us and it's truth and purity and we as the children of God lead holy lives according to it so God's name is kept holy in these two ways through him giving to us that holy word that word that gives to us his name and also it is our response to that word that we lead a life that reflects who he is and so uh there are uh, this is this is why we pray this continually holy be thy name lord um continue to give me your word and secondly lord please help us reflect your word and the name that is given in that word so uh, a big petition one that you could pause on while you're praying the Lord's Prayer and really think about. Um, 
So hallowed be thy name. We will uh, continue now with our um, uh, morning prayer. Uh, I believe it's Luther's morning prayer. And you would think um, I'd have that memorized. <laughs> I do have it memorized. It's just eluding me right now. So we will. Oh, yes. Always forget the first words. So let us pray uh, Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angels be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Right. May the Lord uh, bless your day and uh, continue to to serve Him. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to. Um, it'll probably be the same because my computer will be down then too. But uh, um, you'll be able to hear about the second petition of the Lord's Prayer. Have a good day.